you heard it here first my external mic looks cool according to the delivery driver here in hollywood um <laughs> this is my first time coming up to hollywood and it is a very 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 hot day i'm just here um at this convenient mart because i needed to go the extra mile and get some ice cold water filled up um not sponsored but this bag is actually really really sick cleaning with um mara and joel went really well and i got to work on some of that project with the red rope so that was pretty cool and like getting to hear about joel's process and what he's doing with his fashion was really sweet and they have two little kitties so yeah it's a it's a pleasant work environment and they invited me back um basically he's got to get this project done by july 1st um before his fashion show so they're gonna invite they invited me back to help and i was about to just head out of hollywood but i guess since i've never seen it i should kind of like take a little stroll so i'm gonna show you guys that and i got a little gelato ice cream cookie sandwich Today is Wednesday and I came down early to downtown to work out at a fitness club and the class was really fun. It was a lot of isolating stretches and such. Um, then in an hour I have an interview at the same club actually to uh, be a front desk assistant pretty much reaching for any part-time work that I can find right now as I transfer my license. And this morning's meditation message was about how meditation should be brought into more schools. And if you agree that this is a life skill that's very important through which all other skills um, are filtered through, then I highly suggest going online. I'm gonna link the website right here to mindfulschools.org and this is the group uh, the collective of meditation teachers that started putting meditation into schools about 10 years ago and i just think that their project and their mission is super important and if you've ever meditated even just once um, especially if you kept a consistent practice you know how powerful it is and how it completely can, sh can shift and change your life just finished morning medi and sending out the morning text to the meditation group. Today we're going out to Hollywood again to help the designer with their collection. And before that, I have a really cool historical site to show you that I just learned about yesterday. And I think it's really important to spread this um, knowledge, especially being that it is a black historical landmark. Mm. Okay, Bubbubs, 
I am here. We're standing outside of the Lincoln Theater on South Central in Los Angeles. Just finished up work up here in Hollywood with Yi Fashion Designer and it went well and yeah I am headed back down south um, but before that I might go stop by and see some people I just recently met on Hollywood that go out and um, do their art on the street and they're really really sweet people as a couple um, and I told him I would be back around on Thursday, so we might go see them. Today is a new day. Today I am strong. Today I take the day moment by moment. Today I let myself be calm and relaxed and trusting in the process of the universe. Today, I keep my mind clear and free of negative or self-doubting intrusive thoughts. Today, I am tall and I stand tall with my chest out, my shoulders back, and my head to the sky. Today, is a brand new day and anything could happen good morning i just finished my workout and stretching and meditating and i sent out this morning's text to the group again if you want to get the text messages just email me your phone number and i will add you to our group on signal which is an encrypted messaging app um, it's the easiest way to receive these messages and have uh, control over the notifications as the texts come in daily. Hola, ¿cómo estás? <laughs> Yo practico en español um, unos días. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Yo comprendo un poquito. Uh, um, yo practiqué, um, practica con uh, la mer de dueño um, de la café. Um, and she's really, really sweet. I hope I'm saying that right. Basically, I'm saying that I practice Spanish with the owners the mother of the owner of the cafe that I go to. Today I learned Madas una teza de te, por favor? Could I have a cup of tea, please? Hola! Hola, good morning, buenos dias. Buenos dias. Uh, no Diana today? No, she's not here today. She's at an event with her mom. Oh, yeah. sad. I'm just recording myself on um, for my for my YouTube vlog. You're not in it. <laughs> oh, okay, like, no worries. <laughs> I learned how to ask for my order. It's um, me das una taza de té, por favor. Did I say it right? Me das una taza. Me das una taza. Me das de té. Un latte. Mm -hmm. a, a tea latte oh, tea. they are literally the sweetest family in there oh my goodness it's like <laughs> every time i leave this coffee shop i feel like i have family like i feel so loved they're amazing people anyway um hasta luego is how you say see you next time hasta luego to habla espanol Look, look who came to us today, last night in fact, little red eye. How you doing little one?
how we doing? It's me. I'm back. It is Saturday night and the sun is very high in the sky. We're out here on Central at Central and 6th and um, I came downtown a little bit early for this event that I'm taking us to. It's at the Wisdom. The Wisdom is a dome that is <laughs> also an event space. And tonight they're doing a new moon activation. It's two hours of sound bath and mantra and meditation. Um, so yeah, very much exactly what I would want to do on a Saturday night. And I hope that you enjoy the sight that I'm able to share with you from this experience. I'm Rain, by the way. Hi, Rain. What a beautiful name. Yeah. What's your name? Zara. Zara. It means morning means flower. Morning flower. Yeah. Nice. This is the right one, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. There's so many domes. Yeah, biggest spot. Thank you. Enjoy. 